Bear One, Shea Bear One Thousand here. You might remember we just put a head on here and this bottom hole stripped out. I got this little kit here, and I'll show you a little bit more about that. We're going to try to use this kit to fix this, the threads in that spark plug hole. So let me grab a couple wrenches and let's get started on it. Okay, so let me get you guys in here a little bit. Maybe you can see a little bit better. Now I'm going to be working. I may, ha may have to move you, but see that? That just slides almost all the way in on its own. You get you a side angle here. See, I just shouldn't do that. See, this one. Oh, this one's not the greatest, but there you go. This one screws right in. But this bottom one... <laughs> See it? You can just pull it right out. Okay, so what I've got here, let me back you out again, and I'll show you this kit that I bought online. Now, this is what the kit is. You get this little, this is not for cast iron heads, guys. This is only for aluminum heads. Yes, you can use it on cars with aluminum heads. Anything with an aluminum head, that takes this size, it's a 14 millimeter uh, thread size inside. So, just like that. Now, see how far out that, or how far down in that is? That's going to be like that because if we go farther, of course, it's going to be farther out. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this this uh, reamer tool here, and what this does is it cuts threads for this to screw into, and then we're going to put a little bit of Loctite on these threads here, and then we're going to screw it on in there. Okay. Now, you're going to want to check your, uh, the depth of your, you know, how deep you, you, you want to go, which this, this I already know is the right size, but just check how deep you're going to go there. Now, with this on here, I'm going to have to turn this. I can feel the, the piston. You're going to want the piston down, you know, all the way back, um, for this to go in. Now we're going to put some oil or grease or something on here. That way, as it's cutting the threads, it should catch most, 95% of the, the cuttings. It should catch on here and bring them out. We'll get to that here in a minute. But uh, any, there may be one or two little shavings in there. Now it's not going to hurt this because the rings are steel and the cylinder walls are steel. So a little tiny piece of aluminum should blow out pretty quickly I will also blow it out with compressed air but that's how this is going to work now like I said I don't know if I'll be able to Let's see if I get you get you a better shot down here without my hand being in the way so this is just going to you're just going to start screwing it in there and try to keep it straight now these are at an angle out this way so but you're just going to kind of start screwing it in there now you can also use a uh, if, if you have your head off or if you got the room 
you can use a ratchet on it you can use one of the big T handles uh, I don't have that room so I'm just gonna put some grease on here and um, start screwing it in with my wrench that I have right here see it's 13 16 now if you don't like the idea of that plugs not being as close to the to the piston then you can always you can always cut this thing off you know you know what I mean so but there's three different sizes here this was like $22 for this kit so let me get some grease slap on there we're gonna get started okay so this is kind of uh, all I'm doing as you can see probably hopefully just putting a little bit of grease on here and that grease will stop 95 98 percent of them cuttings that are that wouldn't normally just drop in there okay and because we got to screw this all the way in all right so there we got some grease on here you can use a little oil it also helps helps with the cutting process you just uh, the hardest part's getting it to start straight okay so we're going to go ahead and get this started and it's going it's a little time consuming if you have to use a wrench if you use a ratchet it's not as bad because it has to start it has to take away some aluminum before it even gets to starting to thread it okay so this is what we're going to do i'm just going to keep on doing this until it gets started okay so i'm not going to bore you with that see it's starting to to cut so this thing was so th so stripped out to begin with this one's not going to be that bad to start but all right so i'm going to go ahead and get this started and i'll kick you back on and i'll show you we got to run it up until it starts running easy okay guys now i think it's worth mentioning now this is only uh this set that i've got is only for this kind of plug with the uh with the washers on it it's not for this kind of plug okay it's for the ones with washers that's why <coughs> excuse me that's why it's got i dropped this in the sand i'll have to clean it all that's why it's got this little a little lip on the end of it there that's for your crush washer to go up against um now we're getting pretty close it's been about 10 minutes like i said it does take a little time but it's starting to get feels like it's screwing in okay so like i said all i did like right here i held my thumb up against there and i just kept turning this and cleaning out the threads turning it cleaning out the threads it feels like they may be cutting now so uh this ain't the right size wrench but see what's weird about this is this is a 13 16 wrench it will fit on this way but it won't fit that way weird huh so let's go ahead and whoops sorry guys let me back you out a little bit now that you can see what's going on okay so now i have done this on aluminum headed cars for people never one of my own you know when money's tight you can fix it for you know twenty two dollars or 2200 and if you you know if money's tight you just can't always go buy a brand new head you know and in this case it's a 1963 Evinrude <laughs> 18 fast ones so these heads are getting hard to find the company that I got this head from they took care of me they sent me a new gasket in case you know I gotta pull this head off but they have four or five of these but all of them have the bottom hole stripped out and I don't understand maybe it is a little hard to get to but I, don't, I didn't have any problem getting the spark plug in and out of there so alright so now I'm just going to start back and forth 
go, you know, a couple turns, go back and forth. Just like that. And I'm going to keep cutting these threads in until I get that to go all the way in, or as far as I can without hitting the piston. Been about 20 minutes now. And we got it where it's going in, so. Now we're just going to run it up. Yeah, see if this was a top one, I'd be able to use this on it right there. But since it's not, well, as you can see, it's not, uh, it's not going to fit down there, so. Whoops, sorry. We're just going to run this in as far as we can. <coughs> now what, what it'll do, it'll get really tight. And you're going to think, oh my God, don't worry about it. And then it'll start getting loose, so don't worry about it. You didn't strip it. I mean, it's already stripped, right? That's just when you hit the, you know, the mark where it's cutting threads now. So, like I said, it takes some time. Now, if this was off the bench, like I said, you can use a T-handle, you can use a, a socket and ratchet. Um, I've seen guys use step bits to get them started better than what this can. But in this case, I couldn't do it. I checked because I was going to show you that, but damn. But um, I wasn't able to get my drill bit. It wouldn't have been straight. It would have been at an angle. So, yeah, it's, uh, I'm just going to keep going until I feel it start to get up against the piston. If it even does. Pretty deep cylinder, though. And now you can see how easy that's that's turning. It's got some nice threads cut in there. Like I said, I've I've done this a lot for people on like lawnmower heads and uh, from Ohio um, snowmobile heads and uh, you know people get a lot of money and. Especially around Christmas time, it's like, look, man, can you get, you know, can you get me by with something? And nine times out of ten, that ended up just being a fix for them. I, you know, I'll come back and get a new head. Uh, they come back and get something else done, but they're like, you know, it ain't broke. <laughs> Why fix it, right? And I'm like, okay, if you're, you know, if it's working good for you, and it sure enough would be. So... Now, we're all the way to the end of the threads. I'm not going to go anymore. I'm not going to take it, you know, to where then I have trouble trying to get this threaded back out. You know what I mean? Now it should come out nice and easy. Then we're ready for our insert, which I need to go find. I forgot to grab my, uh, my Loctite. Now, as you can see, all these, I'll show them to, I'll show it to you once I get it out of here too. All them thread cuttings. Now I kept wiping it off as I went, so that would be even be less. See, it it caught most of the the cuttings. So now I'm gonna wipe this off, nice clean looks pretty good in there now what you can do you can pull that rope a couple times or if it's on something with electric start crank it over a couple times and it'll blow some of that out okay now yeah I see it, it blew a little bit out I don't know if the camera picked it up okay so 
I'm gonna get some air, blow this out, and I'm gonna bore you with that, and then I'll get my Loctite, and I'll show you how we're gonna put the uh, insert in. Okay, now before I put, put this in there, I'm gonna put some grease on the threads of my spark plug, and I'll explain to you why in here just a second. That's in case I happen to get any of this thread locker on these threads, the grease won't let it lock. Okay, so, because you don't want to put them on here, you want to put them on here. Okay, so it shouldn't, because it's, it's kind of up in there a little bit. But, uh, whoa, and that's it. Just a slight, just a little tiny bit is all it's going to take okay now let's go ahead and screw this in here uh... where'd I put my wrench? I think this is it There we go. Just had to, must have had a little burr on it. So let's go ahead and tighten this up. Then I'm going to pull it back out, wipe the grease off once this thread locker sets up. Alright. Now, We'll let it set a couple minutes. I'll pull that plug back out, wipe it out, make sure everything's good. <coughs> Excuse me. But what I want to do right now, I want to pull this over and make sure that piston's not going to hit anything. And it's not. Okay, cool. All right, so I'll be back with you in just a minute. We'll pull this plug back out, clean it off. We'll stick both plugs in. We'll get some water under it, see if, see if it'll fire up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put these plugs in. Like I said, we'll get some water and put it underneath and fire it up. A lot of guys might tell you that's not the right way, that's not the proper way. Well, what is the proper way? What is the right way? Uh, if you do this and it works, but you put a brand new head on and it works, really? I mean, what's, you know, is there really a difference in that, you know? I uh, understand where they're coming from. There's some things I don't like to do either, but that was that plug I was using for demonstration. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I understand in a way. Uh, but I mean this would I recommend it if it works for you and it's in your budget yeah I mean because I know I've never had one blow out I've never had any issues and I've never heard of anyone having any issues after doing this none my uncle one of the best mechanics I ever knew in my life I've seen him do that bunch of times I've seen him do it on cars like I said I've done it on cars before with aluminum heads and uh, never had an issue never scored a piston or anything so but so what I got to do now is I got to move this stuff <laughs> hit my primer bulb a couple times there we go all right now I got to get some water and I'll move you back. Let's fire it up. So anyway, I was going to tell you, the company I got the head from, uh, the woman I talked to wasn't real happy with her mechanic. She said that's one of the first things. She even read off a list that they needed to check on these old heads before they get sent out. <coughs> Number one, 
was make sure it's not warped. Number two, check the threads for the spark plugs. This was not, apparently not checked. So anyway, I want to tell you, they gave me a full refund, told me to keep the head and try this. And plus, they said, if you got to pull that head back off, we understand a lot of people, you know, even whether it's running or not, I don't like to do it. I probably could, on something like this, get by. Since it hadn't been running and it hadn't really sealed, I could probably get by pulling the head off and torquing it back down a couple pounds more than uh, normal. I don't like doing that, but if I had to, I would have. wouldn't have been a big issue. So she said, uh, "Listen, if you if you got a, if you can get me a part number for that head gasket, I'll I'll tell you what I'll even we'll buy you a head gasket and send you a head gasket. You keep that head. If you can fix it, great. If not, you know." And she was very apologetic. So I thought that was great. They took good care of me. So yeah, I love companies like that. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there. I got water filling up now. We're just about ready to start it. So let's do this. Let's see what happens here. Up, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten them them bolts back down up there Sounds like I need to adjust the carburetor. No big deal So I'll be back with you in a minute Okay guys, so there's how you fix a stripped out spark plug hole on an aluminum head. Um, I just started it up again, started up fine and everything, but you saw it was pumping. But now it's not pissing any water, so I think the water pump might have went out. They had one put in it, or supposedly, so looks like I'm going to be putting a water pump in. It's not that big of a deal, and it's not very expensive. It just, you know, when you got a boat break out another thousand right <laughs> so anyway see it, it's it's easy it just take your time and make sure it goes in straight you'll be all right burnt my hand <laughs> so but uh so i'm not sure about that why it, why it just quit it quit pumping all of a sudden so probably the water pump it was pumping great and it always did, but now the water pump went out, I think. So hopefully that's the only issue. Um, I took the thermostat out to see if that did anything. The thermostat was open, so it didn't. I thought maybe that might have just stuck for some reason, but it didn't. It was open, so I tried it anyway, and it's still not pumping now. But it was pumping a minute ago, so but that's what that's how they go. It's just rubber rubber impeller in there so all right guys uh, i'm gonna say shea bear with the man ledge and i'm going for hopefully that helps somebody you can use that on pretty much any aluminum head you can't use it on cast iron heads guys that you will have to take your head off drill it out put a helicoil in whatever you got to do but uh uh but it'll work fine on these small aluminum heads uh four cylinders i've never put them in a v8 like a Corvette engine, aluminum headed engine with high compression. I don't think I would do that, but I have used them in four cylinders. Uh, I put one in a six cylinder once, never had an issue, but these small engines go for it. Well, it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye, guys, and take care.